Good morning, friends. Good morning. How are you today? Happy Sunday. To those who are watching it when it first comes up, and to those who are watching it later, this was filmed on Sunday. How y'all doing? This is a, hey, let's get back together kind of thing. I honestly feel like, somebody just driving me, I honestly feel like it's been a couple of weeks since I talked to y'all. My videos have been sparse, they've been a little disjointed, and so have my days. And I'll be honest with you, my memory, not very good. It's been a couple of weeks of some really bad fibromyalgia fog, pain in my bodies, and a whole bunch of panic attacks that really shouldn't be happening. So, here we are now, Sunday morning. My young boy is inside there, and I'm trying to get caught up now on everything I need to get done. How's the hippie now? Pretty good, pretty good. A little bit foggy. The fog just seems to not want to go away. It's, it's minus six today. It, it's going up to plus two or three, and it's gonna be like that all week. Uh, so cold, but not cold, you know? Uh, certainly something where my body seems to work best at zero, but my mind seems to work better at the warmer temps. And I'd much rather a clearer mind and a painful body than a foggy mind. And a body that's fine, it's fine, fine. So friends, I'd like to know what's been happening with you for the last week. And what, do, what are you waiting for on me? Um, what's most important? I have a... And I'm hoping to maybe even get it done today for release tomorrow morning. A review of UK cheese. I have to do... I still need to do a review of... Uh, ooh, see, my mind... I still have to do a review of Afghan crossed with super skunk. Huh, let's see. That would catch me up on the reviews, and I want to do another live again real soon. Real soon. And a shout out to Joey coming back online. Hopefully the healing is starting to happen. I won't let anything go except for the fact that everybody give Joey a hug. PhD and THC, Joey and Susie, been through a bit, could use our love. I'm always willing to share and uh, shout out to all of you who talk to me on a daily basis. You kept me focused. You kept me thinking properly instead of negatively and believing in not only this channel, but myself. So I do appreciate it folks. I do appreciate it. No major walk today. No montage for the next couple of days. I need to get my footing. I need to get these reviews done. I need to feel like, like my channel belongs again. And I feel separated. I feel discombobulated, I think is a really good word. It might even be a good coming out of discombobulation. Hmm. Sometimes I think while well, I'm best, while well, I'm with y'all. Pasha's doing wonderful. Thank you all for the wonderful feedback on, yeah, I'll put, I'll put the link right up here to that wonderful tasting of, uh, of Japanese candy by Pasha and I. We had so much fun and I have found a Russian MRE that I will order in the next few days. It takes over a month to get here, so uh, Yo, it's fish! Yeah. That will be coming as well. And yes, Ange activated. Pasha and I will do the what's he or she saying, or however you say that one. We will do that one. We found it funny. We want to do it too. We're just swamped. He's swamped with homework. I'm swamped with getting caught up on things, and I have 
a big family. I have four kids, seven grandkids, and a great grandkid on the way. So I'm very often helping out in other areas. Today is going to be a quiet day of staying at home. Uh, Pasha just finished his homework. And now I'm going to feed him a nice breakfast, maybe make him some eggs in the air fryer. I don't know. But we're going to have a good day, and then he goes home to mom and back to school tomorrow. And maybe we can make this a regular week with regular updates. We will see, my friends. We will see. I'm trying to think of what else I may have missed out on. Uh, Angie. Angie978, I want to say thanks again. You keep giving me ideas, and I do want to do a video on what does the hippie watch. What do I watch on YouTube? Who are my favorite channels? Now, of course, I watch Angie Activated. I watch Sick Mix. I, I, the people walking by, I watch Sick Mix. I watch Seeks. I watch anything you guys are going to put out. At least I try to. I try to stay up on all your stuff. But for my own entertainment, my most favorite thing to watch is a guy in Texas named Matt Carricker. Matt Carricker. He is a uh, YouTuber with three different channels, Vet Ranch, Off the Ranch, and Demolition Ranch. And I love all his videos. Vet Ranch has kind of gone by the wayside, doesn't happen as much as it used to because YouTube kind of killed that, that genre. And I think it's too bad many, many dogs were saved from it. He, what he would do, go back and look. At first you think, oh, I can't watch these. These are going to be sad, but they all have happy endings. Is he would fall with the money that came from YouTube. He would go and get a dog, save a dog from a shelter that's going to be euthanized and fix it. Whatever's wrong with it, fix it and find it a home. And he did that with hundreds, if not thousands of dogs with the other vets at his veterinary clinic. And I really enjoyed it. I've seen, I think, every single one of his videos in that genre. But YouTube kept cutting out all the important details. You know, these dogs go through awful stuff. And it's a little bit gross. So they kept demonetizing. And he couldn't make the money to save the dogs. These are, not ex these are not cheap things he does with these dogs to save their lives. So, and it's not just dogs. He saves some cats. And I'm trying to think of any other animals he might have saved. So that's an introduction to to the first of many that I will share with y'all. I didn't think it really deserved its own video. I think it's something that I want to mention as I go through other videos. And now you know what time it is. I have a couple of interesting ones for you today. The tea bag was an accidental invention. Yes, accidental. In 1908, when tea merchant Thomas Sullivan distributed his tea samples in small silken bags, his customers didn't understand that that was just meant as wrapping, and they dumped them, and suddenly he was swamped with orders for his tea bags. <laughs> just a mistake in shipping, you know? Uh, Nokia. Nokia was originally founded in 1865 as a paper printing company, but it is apt to say that when it was founded, paper was one of the world's most used methods of long distance communication. Nokia, 1865, long distance communication. Interesting, and a fun one. The world's biggest ever recorded turtle was a leatherback turtle that washed up on Harlech Beach, Wales in 1988. It was estimated to be 100 years old, 9 foot in length, and weighing over 2,000 pounds. Amazing, friends. And you heard it here first from Birchie.
and you heard it here first. My friends, peace and cheers, love and harmony. Catch you on the other side. I hope you find someone with us now. You have a beautiful one. Give it to them. I like it. Peace.